What is up guys, Avery here, and wanted to bring you guys a new deck that I've come across here, and uh, if the mic sounds a bit weird, I do apologize, I'm holding my webcam in my hand right now, um, still don't really have a good um, working situation for making videos, but I did my best to make this work, and I wanted to bring you guys uh, this deck profile here. Now, before I get into this, I should say that this is a legitimate deck. This is from Your Move TCG. This is a New Zealand anti-meta deck uh, from a guy named Sam Walker from a 70... Uh, according to your move TCG, it was a 70-ish man regional, so we'll just say 70 man regional. And this guy got top eight. And they they said it's anti-meta, and I literally only came across this because some uh, Jacksonville Yu-Gi-Oh player shared this and was like, "This is disgusting. You need to learn how to play actual interactive decks." And I was like, "Ooh, I smell cancer." <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this is a real thing, apparently. <laughs> Let's just, let's dive into this cancer here. So, Sam Walker, New Zealand Regional, 70 people. This man got top 8. I don't know what you'd have to get to get top 8 at a 70-man regional, but, I mean, hey, I've been to 70-man regionals before, so let's just go ahead and just dive on into this. So, we got Triple Lava Golem, um, because we're just dirty little bastards, I guess. Then we're playing 3 Checksum Dragons. So, this thing is a level 6, 400 attack, 2400 defense, dragon type. And its effect is that when an opponent's monster declares an attack, you can special summon this card from your hand. Then gain life points equal to half this card's defense. This attack position card cannot be destroyed by battle. So you activate in the hand, special summon in defense mode. Congratulations, you just gained 1,200 life points. Which it coincides with our fire prism because all dragon monsters on the field gain 300 defense. So it can be as high as 2,700 defense. So it's got a nice fat ass going for it. Um, moving on with more cancer. Uh, we've got triple... Fossil Dina, double berry statue at the torrent. I guess he wasn't assuming he was going to go against Mermail, which this card would be useless. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm sure that there were no Mermails. Then we're playing triple of the OG burn card. <laughs> we're playing triple Marshmallow. Uh, for those of you who are newer to the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! might be like, what the hell is this card? Uh, I really encourage you to go watch the first series of Yu-Gi-Oh! where Yugi uses this card against Evil Bakura to deal a thousand damage. Um, but basically it's a Spirit Reaper. It can't be destroyed in battle. Um, if it's flipped face up after being face down, the opponent attacks into it, uh, attacking player takes 1,000 damage. Uh, then we got one copy of Jalgen. Uh, you disc discard a card from your hand, destroy all special summon monsters, and either player can special summon monsters. Coincides really well with our Cancer Soul safe zone here. Morphing Jar, because, I mean, hey, drawing cards is good. And then we got Triple Battle Vader. And then we got one one lone copy, not even maxing out on it, just one lo lone copy of Golden Ladybug. Uh, so this card, during your standby phase, you can reveal this card in your hand, and uh, it will remain revealed until the end of this turn, and then you gain 500 life points. Uh, so you reveal it, gain 500, and you pass turn and, you know, leave it back in your hand. I remember playing three copies of this, and I used to play my self-destruct button deck. And uh, for those of y'all that are veteran subscribers... Um, yeah, y'all deserve a veteran discount if you know what I'm talking about with that deck. <laughs> then we got one copy, one day piece, because, I mean, you know, we we like to play our self-touching deck. Card destruction, because our hands are probably going to be ass the majority of the time. Uh, then we got Triple Pot of Duality, one copy of Demise of the Land, one copy of Set Rotation, um, two copies of Messenger of Peace, because why not? One copy of Cauldron, because why not? <laughs> Uh, triple Fire Prison. So this card's actually really interesting. So all dragon monsters on the field gain 300 defense. If any link monsters are on the field, neither player can link summon a link monster with a lower link rating than the highest link rating on the field. So if you have a link 5, you can't summon anything that's a link 4 or lower, basically. And then monsters uh, cannot attack except for link monsters, and then you apply the following effects while two or more Cybers link monsters are on the field, and that would be negate the activated effects of Cybers monsters, and Cybers monsters cannot attack, cannot be targeted for attacks, and cannot be targeted by card effects. Really interesting card here. It's almost, I related a lot to like a Mystic Mine, although nowhere near as good. Um, because, you know, it kind of hurts the opponent with extending their link plays, as well as summon limit. Um, definitely an interesting card here, and it's also something that you can give your opponent with set rotation. You can literally just play it, give them a fire prison, you give yourself a Mystic Mine, activate it, you're off to the races. And then we got, um, triple Mystic Mine, then for the traps, triple threatening roar, one metaverse for our field spells, triple summon limit, and one save zone. 
So you activate this card by targeting one face-up attack position monster on the field. Uh, that face-up monster cannot be targeted or destroyed by the opponent's card effects or be destroyed by battle. And it cannot attack the opponent directly. And when this card leaves the field, you destroy that monster. When that monster leaves the field, you destroy this card. So if you're able to go first and open up with the one copy of Safe Zone and Fossil Dina, you're going to summon that Fossil Dina, activate Safe Zone, and uh, you're pretty much off to the races. Uh, for the extra deck, we got Triple Mega Fleet for that Cyber Dragon matchup. We've got Violent Chimera, uh, Starving Venom, Diplexer Chimera, and Mud Dragon for our Super Poly targets on the side deck. We're playing one Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon and one Abyss Dweller. For the Lynx, we're playing Double Link Karibo, one Link Spider, one Nightmare Phoenix, one copy of Boral Sword, and one copy of Appaloosa. I really don't feel like these two cards are necessary. Like, if you just want to troll your locals and have fun with this deck, I would not recommend taking this to a regional. <laughs> not in the slightest. Um, but you could obviously take these two cards out, and you wouldn't even need to play the Super Polys if you're at, like, a Locals or something. For the side deck, we got Triple Sphere Mode and Triple Air Hummingbird and two Super Poly and this little package that you see here. I'm sure he used for time. Um, but we're playing one Meteor of Destruction, Triple Tremendous Fire, and Triple Poison the Old Man. If you don't know what these cards do, I remember playing these cards back in the day, like 2008. Meteor of Destruction, if the opponent's life points are higher than 3,000, you can inflict 1,000 of them. Tremendous Fire inflicts 1,000 damage to the opponent and inflicts 500 to you. Poison of the Old Man, uh, you can activate one of two effects, either gain 1,200 life points or inflict 800 damage to the opponent. Um, yeah, so if you go into time, you pretty much just side deck in everything but your Sphere Modes and your Super Polys, and you are good to go. Um, just to show you what a hand looks like here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You open up a Golden Ladybug, so you're already at 8,500 life points. Um, set Metaverse. <laughs> Summon, uh, well, maybe even summon the barrier statue and pass. Then maybe next turn set the fossil to flip it and pop all their special summon monsters if they get rid of this. But Jesus Christ, this deck is just weird. I mean, I don't know what the New Zealand meta is like. It could have been all scrubs that were all there to play Pokemon, and like this guy just got top eight because. They were all trying to play Pokemon. He's like, this is a Yu-Gi-Oh! regional. Like, you can't play Pokemon. I get an automatic win. Um, <laughs> but, I mean, it's, it seems legit. I mean, it's from Your Move TCG. They um, posted a deck profile of Nadolce that topped uh, this regional um, at... Or from this regional on their YouTube channel. So, I mean, it it's definitely legit. I just, I can't believe that this actually topped eight. And who knows, maybe I'm getting trolled. Maybe your move TCG made up a guy named Sam Walker who topped with this and they threw in a bunch of random shit and maybe this didn't actually happen. But it's still interesting if it did. I mean, the lavas, I mean, it makes sense with spirals. I mean, they make Sleepy Boy, they make the Trigate, you know, they put their dick on the table. And then if you open up, like, Double Lava, you can just destroy their board. Granted, you know, they'll take 2,000, but then they'll just link both of these off into something. Um, you know, they'd have to get, like, one of the monster on the field, then do, like, a Nightmare Phoenix, and then do the Phoenix and the other Lava into a Unicorn. Um, but, I mean, at least you get the 2,000 burn, I guess. I mean, it's it's really interesting. I mean, I'm, I'm going to go play this on Dex Pro right now and see what it can do. I'm not expecting the best. <laughs> um, I'm expecting the worst, but, I mean, hey, I went X4 at uh, my regional today playing Mystic Mind Burn. So anything I can use to uh, kind of get my spirits back up in a positive mood, I, I want to do. But let me know what you guys think about this. This is, I think that this is honestly the weirdest regional top deck I've ever seen. Now again, it's 70 people. Who knows what the meta is like there in New Zealand? I mean, I, I have no idea. I mean, it very well could be just a bunch of kids who didn't know what they were doing. I mean, I, I I don't know. I don't live in fucking New Zealand. <laughs> but, I mean, it's still interesting. And I still think that Fire Prison as a card is very, very interesting. Um, you know, just the fact that, you know, especially with one copy of Demise of the Land, you have the choice between either getting Mystic Mind or Fire Prison. The same goes for the Metaverse. Um, so, like I said, I'm definitely going to test this out. I'd be curious to know what you guys have to say about this. Um, I, I saw someone comment on Facebook about this deck saying, wow, this is stage 4 cancer. But, like, is it really, though? Like, it's probably not even that good. But anyway, I'm going to give you all more of my thoughts once I go play this on Dev Pro. If you all want to see this deck again and know my thoughts about it, let me know in the comments below. I might even make a meta discussion on this channel kind of talking about my experience with this format and um, some of the aggravations I've been facing uh, in both the game and life in general. Um, 
But let me know what you guys think. Um, would love to hear your thoughts about this interesting, interesting hell of a deck. So thank you guys for watching and uh, subscribe if you have not already. I'm gonna I'm gonna go take a Talonol because this this doesn't seem real.